Aloha sailors and welcome to another episode of My Salty Sea Life. If you're new to the channel, my name's Larkin and I will be your host as we take an inside look at what it's really like to live and work aboard a ship in the salty seas. I'm so excited about this week. First, we're gonna go swimming with sharks. Ah! Then we're gonna go back to the ship and do some really cool nighttime data collection. So let's jump right in. Our adventure begins with a sunrise boat ride from Hawaii's North Shore to a special spot the sharks are known to gather. During the boat ride to the shark spot, our awesome guide went over some important safety information, like hand signals and shark behavior. So we were all comfortable and on the same page when it was time to go swimming with these amazing creatures. Once we got to the spot, it didn't take very long to find them. Time to get in. was surreal and so peaceful. Watching the way they glided so elegantly through the water put me in this calm, relaxed state I can't even describe. On the way back to the dock, our guide also informed us of some of the horrible practices that are popular today and responsible for 70 to 100 million shark deaths a year. Shark finning. Shark finning is the capturing of sharks to cut off their fins and many times throwing the finless shark back in the water. I put a link to a very informative, super short documentary on the subject in my description box. If you have just a few minutes and want to understand the impact this has on our ocean, it's definitely worth checking out. The goal of One Ocean is to inform people that sharks are not the monsters the media has made them out to be. They are an intricate part of the ocean's ecosystem. We need them. I'm leaving a link to One Ocean in the description box. I highly encourage you all to check them out, even if you aren't planning on going to Hawaii anytime soon. Their page is a fantastic resource for learning about these beautiful creatures and also how you can help them. You don't even need money to help with this cause. One of the best ways to have a big impact is simply through sharing and educating people. So feel free to share this video. But seriously, One Ocean is doing a great job and you all should definitely check them out. Back on the research vessel, the sun sets as we start preparations for our net tow night operation. That's right, the scientists and sailors work around the clock on these trips. Science never sleeps, so neither do we. Here we are getting ready to retrieve the net tow. These plankton toes are a great oceanographic tool used to collect microscopic life in the ocean as well as other unique tiny creatures I'll show you in a minute. Phytoplankton are one of the Earth's most critical organisms, generating about half the atmosphere's oxygen and forming the base to virtually every ocean food web, so it is vital to study and understand them. What's in the bucket? Is that okay? That's the stuff. Well, hey there, little guys. Sure, everyone is impressed with large colossal creatures like the mighty blue and humpback whales. But it is important to remember these tiny, very interesting zooplankton, small fish and crustaceans that are at the lower end of the food chain, making the abundant aquatic life we know possible. 
plus they are really cool looking. Thank you all so much for joining me. Please do hit like and subscribe so you don't miss out next week when I learn how to free dive. And let me know what you think of the videos in the comments box. These videos are for you all and I want to make sure you like them. Have a great week. See you next time. Mahalo. I don't know what to watch. <laughs> yeah. People ask me how, what we do to pass the time here and I'm going to send them this video.